is Evening Magazine for January 5th, and this is a little embarrassing. See, we were supposed to shoot the show tonight at the San Francisco Mac Computer Expedition in San Francisco, but I had a little car trouble, so I pulled off the road front, off the 280 and wound up in this crazy little black and white town, and it's like going back in time. Excuse me, sir, where am I? Where are you? Who are you? Well, I'm just a guy looking for the San Francisco Mac Expo, and I had a little car trouble. Can you help me? No Mac lives in this town. Okay, well, I'm going to figure out exactly where I am after you watch tonight's first story. Now, with 50 channels on TV, you got a lot of choices, except for right now, the only choice is Evening Magazine, right? Well, out of those 50 channels, one of them is called Cable Access, and it's a few hours every day left by the cable company for anybody to have their own show. And I mean anybody. Well, you're about to meet one of those anybodies who's taking San Francisco Cable Access by storm. Prepare to be annoyed. Who are you talking to, Sonny? That's a scary thought. Contact your local cable operator, and most likely they'll walk you through the process. That's just an application. And then you, too, can have a show on Channel 53 Thursdays at 10, just like Bug Girl. All right, now let me tell you what I know about where I am today. Apparently, I've stumbled off the 280 into a town where everyone and everything is from the turn of the century, which means it may take till the turn of the next century for me to get my car fixed. So I may as well just settle back and get to know the nice folks here. Excuse me, can I just get a latte? A lot of what? Help. Welcome back to the Twilight Zone, everybody. I couldn't find any ATM machines in the Bay Area town I'm in today, so I'm getting cash at a bank for a hotel room for the night. Excuse me, how about 80? 80 cents? That room is going to cost you a buck and a quarter over there. A buck and a quarter? I can get used to this place, and now as part of the show, you get to find out all the best stuff to do in the Bay Area. Fucking a quarter. And first up is Tony, and Tony is eating Greek. Who's he talking to? Our website at kpix.com. Now, I gotta tell you, I've really gone back to the future Extra. on today's show. You know about really it. getting weird in this crazy Bay Area town. Look at this headline. Man from future visits, Outlook Grim. I think that's me. And we'll be right back with more Evening Magazine, everybody. Tell you exactly where in the Bay Area we are. Help! Up next, the past speaks out. Color. Back from this parallel Bay Area universe, and the car is still busted, so I'm using this buck and a quarter, and I'm going to get a hotel room, if that's okay. Young man, we require proper attire in this hotel. You can't come in here looking like you came from the barn. <laughs> okay. I think we need to tell everybody where we are today, or at least tell me where we are today. What's going on? And starting in April, we will have an exhibit on the gold rush. On the gold rush, really? Yes, and people can come here between what times during the day? They can come Tuesday through Sunday from um, 12 to 5. Okay, and you will really feel like you are stepping back in time. Do you know that I'm from 1999? Well, so am I. <laughs> oh, you just gave it away. And now we uh, got to get into our next story. I guess we could just put it in color now. Let's get into our next story. There is an exhibit at Golden Gate Park that has beautiful artwork from around the same time that you're from, from the, from the 1800s. And if you consider yourself a cultured person, you will want to check it out. Work at the Asian Art Museum at Golden Gate Park through January 17th. It is a pretty amazing show, and I strongly suggest that you go out and get yourself cultured. Now, because the car is still broken and I can't get a hotel room, do you think I could stay with one of you ladies for the night here? Sir, we're ladies, but of course there might be room in the stable. <laughs> I can never tell. We'll be right back, everybody. I really look like I was born in a barn. That's it for Evening Magazine from the San Jose History Museums in San Jose. They're located just off of 10th Street in San Jose. And if you want to find out more information about the place, check out the website, sir.com slash sjhistory. They have a website here. How ironic. Now stay tuned for Hollywood Squares, and we'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye. Hey, uh, can you get this thing up to 120? Let's go, Doc Brown. Get it going. Get it going.
Silicon Valley. It's a final. Right in the heart of San Jose, there is a place where you can literally walk into the pages of the valley's history and see what life was like not too long ago. It's a place to save memories. The San Jose Historical Museum is a 25-acre park with 27 structures, each telling an important part of the region's story. You can spend time being a pioneer or absorbing ancient traditions inside a Chinese temple or using a rare printing press from the 1870s. Keith Cakebread is a docent. The details that uh, sometimes we get into in teaching uh, kind of override the important part, and the important part being, hey, what was life really like? Fifth graders from Meadows Elementary School in San Jose are getting a small taste of what a pioneer's life was like by preparing for a journey westward. Some people had to load the wagon, some people were in charge of the food. And some had a chance to play. They really do get a feel that would be long-lasting part of their memory. Other memories are shared in the Ung Shing Gung Temple. People forget what their ancestors did for them, and especially the Chinese, they had been much oppressed in this area, and so we wanted to bring it to people's attention and have them remember that the Chinese immigrants did much for the growth of this Santa Clara Valley. All that remains of San Jose's Chinatown are memories and a replica of what was once its community center. Everybody's welcome. That's, that's what's so beautiful about this temple. Arsonists burned Chinatown to the ground in 1887. The Chinese community built a temple to be the symbol of the new Chinatown they hoped would endure. Upstairs is the original altar. And when you see the gold leaves, goose pimples <laughs> run through me. Throughout this theme park of history, in the printing press, the trolley barn, the Westward Ho, tour guides and staff offer an infectious enthusiasm for the memories they pass along. Memories too often forgotten in this silicon land of dreams, the strong foundations of a brave new world. The historical museum is open daily. Admission is $4 to $6. Children under five are free. For more information, call 408-287-2290. When we come back, we'll get a peek into paradise.